As expected Dolphins entered the match with a completely confident Chiefs. Despite being underestimated, the Dolphins showed in the first half was too excellent. On Kansas City's second drive, he made NFL history. And not in a good way. Mahomes dropped back on a third and 12 play from the Kansas City 33-yard line. And he just kept dropping. A pair of Miami defenders gave chase before Jerome Baker finally caught up with him. He sacked him at the three-yard line for a 30-yard loss. If you're wondering if that's the longest sack in NFL history, it is. It ties the record held by Scott Galleon of the New York Giants, who sacked Arizona Cardinals quarterback Stoney Case for a 30-yard loss in 1997. It's worse than Denver Broncos quarterback Tim Tebow and Dolphins quarterback Bob Greasy, who both suffered 29-yard sacks in their careers. According to Pro Football Reference, it's the biggest loss on an offensive play in NFL history that didn't involve a fumble or an intentional safety. And after that, Tua Tungavailoa and Gocheski did a good job of putting them together to give Dolphins an early touchdown. Not only that, Patrick Mahomes seemed overwhelmed by the Dolphins' playstyle and was unable to keep pace with the game. He was fidgety and hesitant. The last time Mahomes passed the ball to Travis Kelsey, however, the pass in a rather favorable position could not fly to the position of the Kelsey. Dolphins' Andrew Van Ginkle touched the ball with one hand, causing the ball to flick. Byron Jones immediately stole the ball and made a quick move. The second time Mahomes made a mistake. Mahomes sent the ball to carry Makel Hardman during the Chiefs' attack at 40 yards, but Clyde Edwards did not observe his teammates and missed the ball, causing the Dolphins' Eric Rowe to steal the ball and do a 25 yards run.